hello family this is gamers forum back with another clash of kings video so guys so this video is going to be short and quick and it might be helpful for you all so today's video is on kingdom conquest yes kingdom versus kingdom crossover battle that is used to place at the end of the week of kingdom conquest so guys uh, what the thing is that today i'm going to share up the tricks and tips that is being helpful for me from past few months or maybe more than that to maintain up to the top rankers as well as to open all the nine chest so i used to open all the nine chest in kingdom vs kingdom conquest week in all of the events so today i'm going to share up the tricks and guys if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe it on because this channel is fully focused on tips and tricks regarding the clash of kings and it's very nice of you that you are here to my channel so let's start the video the first thing is that whatever you will have to do is to do it early means the time the crossover event of kingdom versus kingdom battle starts on you have to be quick because the castle that is being unshielded on or the player that is offline at the moment uh, forget to shield up they must be that castle must be and be um, available at that particular moment so you have to uh be quick and try to capture more and more points at the starting of the event first thing first the thing i used to do at the first is to search the corner of the map the first thing you have to do is just go for and search for all the corners of the map means here is the corner so i will go along the corners of the map the whole uh, kingdom map because the main of the thing is that the players who are not uh, uh, capable of affording the shields used to place their castle at the corner of the map because they think that nobody used to search on to the corners and maybe they may be possible that they will camp their troops to the corner of the map so strictly do whatever you want just on don't miss any of the target because it's obvious that you will find certain number of target at the corner of the map you have to uh, just on check the power and with the power only you can imagine that there may, might be troops inside that castle or not the first thing first so the first step you have to do is just check on to the whole corner of the map all the four corners completely and after that that is about the corner of the map that will get you some of the points that might be if you are lucky then you will get a huge number of points and apart from that the next thing if you are really stronger one and you are really uh, can support your team members then you can also um, capture out the catable catable because it gives a huge number of points uh, for capturing out the catable so you can also uh, do that thing also to capture out point but i must recommend to stay away from that one if you are really that strong or capable of doing so then you can do it else i must say you just check on the corners after that stay connected and just on there are the conquest mindset all over the server and apart from that this is very much safe and helpful guys because the main conquest crystal mine if you are really going to gather in that but there is a drawback out there that it gives you the um, lot of points the main thing is that it you can get a hit from that and you can lose your troops directly your troops will get killed in the conquest mine but the associate conquest crystal mine is really very helpful for you guys you can completely don't stay uh, idle in the kingdom conquest just on if you want to claim points just on big a big march of yours the best march of yours and just march is to worth the associated crystal mine and you will get the points kingdom conquest points as well as you will get some of the crystals also and the main thing is that no one can is going to attack the associate crystal mine because it doesn't give out the killing points to the enemy and nor, and nor did you get anything to so the uh, the b- main benefit of this associated crystal mine the small mines uh, uh, are uh, surrounded by the main crystal mine is that you're all the troops that if accidentally someone hit you 
then your troops will automatically get to the hospital only and guys you can gather in these associated crystal man while staying in the peace shield so just put on peace shield stay at the crystal mine and guys don't forget you can the benefit of uh, gathering in the con uh, conquest mine is for in the opposite kingdom only because in if you are trying to gather in your own kingdom then there is one drawback that all the points you gather will be reduced by 50 percent means if you are going to gather in opponent's kingdom conquest mine on only then you will get the maximum number of rewards don't waste your time for in gathering in on in your particular uh, own kingdom just go to the enemy's kingdom and do the gathering apart from this when this all thing over don't if you are uh, sitting idle just send your troops and gather in the conquest mine apart from that just on try to watch out the trails uh, what I mean to say about the trails uh, as you can see this is the guy from my kingdom only 1554 and uh, he's gathering in the main mine so he can be attacked and all of the troops he is heading in this can be killed easily by the enemy but what's our business we are making a video for information purpose apart from this just watch for trails many farm castles or many bot castles that are really unshielded on just focus on gathering in this whole uh, day of kingdom conquest so just watch for the uh, trail marks of gathering troops and just after that just follow that trail marks let me show you if i get one uh, uh, the main motto of this uh, following the trail marks of gathering troops is that it will uh, make you to get the exact location of that particular castle that is being gathering on that castle may be a part of the alliance territory so it can easily help you to search out the territories that may give you some targets to hit them maybe it can be small target maybe if you are lucky lucky then you can get a big target so it is the basic thing guys just follow the trail mark of gathering troops and get easily a targets that may be helpful to gain points and guys don't think that the target is smaller book the main thing is that you have to hit it on capture out the main uh, maximum number of points that is being necessary on when all the th these things are op uh, done just on then check out the kingdom chat as well as your alliance chat to know the targets or the scout report that some of the, your members used to share on with the alliance members try to hit them as soon as possible if you are capable of hitting them because snatching points is also a good deal at this particular moment uh, the main uh, you all know that 2.8 g points scoring 2.8 g points is not that easy but if you really oh uh, exercising up or making yourself mindset to the particular point then it can be easy the, i have already told you the three steps first first check out all the four borders of the whole kingdom opponent's kingdom second one uh, gather in the conquest mine okay uh, associated uh, conquest mine and the third one follow the trails to know the exact location of the target that is being able to be get hit by you so these are the three one apart from this at last what you have to do just on uh, time to time just uh, in opponent's kingdom try to check out these conquest mines because if you are uh, if your opponents are gathering in this conquest mine main main conquest mine and they have troops inside it then you can hit them and capture out points because their troops if you are stronger enough to uh, hit on then you can go and capture out points as recently i have just a uh, minute ago i just hit one of the opponents uh, the guy is gathering in the conquest mine as you can see he is ha having around 400k of troops and uh, I beat him and easily extract some of the points snatch some of the points that might be helpful for me so it's easy guys it's not that all the thing is that you have to be careful and don't stick in the 
same place for a long time guys the main uh, thing you have to focus on this go to your items war always keep 20 to 25 random teletransport in your one as well as around 20 to 25 of advance or maybe 5 to 6 of advance no worries just on after each attack recall your troops to the castle and do a random teletransport okay guys this is the main thing uh, i have just on uh, do a lot of transport teletransport and just on i have around 20 advanced teletransport i just spend it on all of them it's uh, the uh, every time routine of mine to waste such a huge number but it's easy uh, to gather uh, gather advanced teletransport by hitting the world boss and things so that is the fourth one the fourth one is that just on hit the crystal mine uh, troops of opponent's kingdom don't hit your own kingdom guys because it doesn't give you points it's obvious that only opponent's kingdom troops is when killed is gives you the maximum point this is the fourth one that you have to focus on and uh, after that the fifth one is the rallies guys whenever a big rally is being taking place uh, in the opponent's kingdom or in your own kingdom to the against the opponent then you have to uh, be a part of the rally if you are capable of don't miss any of the rally because the uh, rally is, uh, is being uh, focused uh, to hit out the big troops and big troops uh, killing big uh, large number of large power troops gives you a maximum number of points so don't miss a single rally guys from the morning i didn't even join the single rally because my kingdom doesn't uh, have any of the rallies yet so all the point i have gathered uh, till now is just from this particular sources that i have mentioned you the four sources four to five sources that i have mentioned on the uh, we will rally soon in the late uh, night uh, midnight when uh, the opponent might be a little feeling little bit sleepy at that moment we will we have planned to uh, set on some big rallies but for that let me come to the points now that how much i have uh, captured on from till the morning only here the kingdom conquest strongest kingdom here i am uh, so I have almost uh, obtained 3.3 G points and uh, our kingdom is in lead uh, apart from that uh, I'm holding 26 position but uh, the position will vary on time to time but the thing is that I have lost around 20 million of my troops uh, power 20 million power approx because my power is 200 million and now i'm holding up on 180 million so i but the thing is that the troops doesn't matter on guys if you had some you have to lose something to gain some of the experience then what's uh, troops can be easily trained so don't try for troops just on focus on the experience that you are getting from each and every hit that is being from your castle to the enemy one so this is about today's video guys so please comment below that you really like the tricks that i have mentioned in this video and if you really know these tricks then it is nice this uh, i just made this video to exp to sh uh, share my experience to the one that are really uh, very much nervous in attending the kingdom versus kingdom battle so guys don't be a feel nervous just try a bit don't worry about the loss you are getting on bus the thing is that stay alert stay safe and stay focused you will definitely the first time you enter the conquest it might be possible that you can only able to open the three chests but the next time you are going to enter will uh, increase it to four to five chests and next six and at last you will certainly uh, become capable of opening all the nine chests and you you will feel yourself confident to do that so so this is about today's video guys so i hope the information might be helpful for you guys and this is on stay safe stay healthy and keep growing with gamers forum thank you guys